What is going on? It is the obscurest tourist here today in the center of Malmo, Sweden. And today, we're gonna visit the disgusting food museum because as they say, perhaps it's, do they say it? One man's delicacy is another man's puke. Something like that. I'm gonna test my limits, maybe try a few foods that I never would have tried in my life, but as they say, when in Malmö, try some new foods. So here I am, let's check it out. You can see admission here is pretty cheap, just 195 Swedish crowns, so about uh, about $15. And I've been told that you can even taste, not taste, you can smell the food. So you open up one of these jars and it represents the, the actual smell of the disgusting food that we're, we're gonna see here. And a bingo card for the end of a little tour here and you can actually taste all of the foods and I gotta be honest I don't know if I will be able to taste any of these without uh, throwing up and luckily you even get a barf bag so uh, a little concerning but I am so excited for this let's start the tour and here is the tasting table and look at this they even have a counter for vomiting and it has been a total of one day since the last vomit 220 barfs in total that's a pretty good thing to brag about I'd say there's a little shop right here at the front not particularly disgusting food but uh, some interesting foods here nonetheless Look at that, some prawn chips. And of course, you know, if you have a British friend or if you are British yourself, you know all about Vegemite. Some t-shirts for sale. Look at this, aardvark hot sauce. Chili balls. Some interesting things for sure. Right at the entrance you have Categories of disgust here. It goes down the list of disease contamination all the way to mutilation, deformity. Seven, seven categories of disgust. Let's see how many we will feel today. There's a little photo booth right here at the entrance exit. And the faces of people as they smell and try various foods here so maybe I'll be up on here by day's end we're gonna give this a go it's actually the faces of disgust and you put your face right in there and they shoot up a smell release a smell and you kind of yeah you just react to it so I'm gonna try that out and let's see what uh, what disgusts me First stop today is Peru for Yugo Dorana. And that is skinned frog put into a blender and spices added and comes out into this pretty disgusting paste, which, uh, yeah, I would have to say that I would be grossed out by that. So, no thanks. And this one is from the Arabian Peninsula, and I don't know if you can see it in there, but this is the Melified Man. You see that? That is a human arm. And basically it was a form of self-sacrifice where a person would eat only honey until they died from malnutrition. And then 
that human body was placed in a stone coffin filled with honey, more honey of course, until it was turned into a confection of sorts that would be ingested to help heal broken limbs. Pretty, pretty morose. Look at this, Mel's driving. Can't get away from Route 66 at all, California. Some New Brunswick tainted tuna. Look at this, right here from my home country in Canada, New Brunswick actually. Some Chinese milk outrage, breast milk substitute, substitute scandal, and swill milk scandal out of the USA. And look at this, some pangium edule from Indonesia creates cyanide. They put a little warning up here. Do not touch, do not smell. Some deadly foods, perhaps maybe not as disgusting as some of the others we will see here, but uh, this is a deadly food. Toxic oil syndrome from Spain. I'll put links down in the bottom. Some explanations about each of these foods. This is not deadly. This is from Southeast Asia and Ghana. That's the horseshoe bat. And one surprising thing here is sprouts. Sprouts had no idea they were potentially deadly things to eat. Actually, breeding grounds for E. coli, salmonella, and listeria, which is, uh, wow, okay. I'm a little bit allergic to sprouts, so I don't eat them myself, but now that makes me feel a little bit better, knowing that I don't eat them. Fugu, of course, the puffer fish here. Found in Japan, very, very toxic. And now we get into the truly disgusting part of this exhibit. We start with Eskimoas from Mexico, which are tree ant larvae and eggs, disgusting. And even grosser than that is this, look at this. This is some suri palm grubs from Peru. Again, a few disgusting additions here. Some nasenene, I don't know. Gross grasshoppers. Some stink bugs from Zimbabwe and South Africa. And some mopan worm. And here's a Peruvian addition to the disgusting foods. Almost kind of cute, though, in a way, is koi. I believe that's, or kai? I yeah, don't understand the pronunciation of it, but it's where guinea pigs raised as food for 5,000 years, and during the koi festival in the city of Cusco, rodents are dressed up, and they, basically compete with each other in a fashion show and prizes are awarded for best dressed guinea pig and tastiest. Mmm. Little Mexican addition here, a little menudo, which is made from tripe. No, 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 not the internationally massive band of the same name, menudo. You remember menudo? And the last is Another addition from Mexico, it is Hutalosh. I, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing any of these right. The next exhibit is Larb from Laos, which is basically worm meat, and of course, come on, always a classic from the United States of America. Good old fashioned roadkill. Yeah, two American contributions to this. Jalisco cheese and, you know, some American peanuts. Yeah, you can, you can die off that. Here's a little Jamaican addition to the museum here. Aki fruits and then some homegrown discussed here in Stenmerkla, which grows right here in Sweden. 
And here's the first thing we can smell. It is a Danish cheese. Let's give that a go. Gamla Olas Far Far. I'm gonna take a little sniff of this stinky tofu from China. It's mm, pretty crisp. More smells like cheese than anything else. Just old cheese. Something from the Caribbean, a little stinky tofu. Don't think I need to explain what that smells and tastes like. And yet another American submission, some Akutak, otherwise known as walrus fat. Ooh. I'm gonna take a little smell of this durian fruit here. Let's see what this is all about. Here we go. Oh my god. It's <laughs> really repulsive. Very strong. Man, that's gonna stay with me. And another submission from the USA. It is Rocky Mountain Oysters, otherwise known as bull testicles. Ugh. Then what would a disgusting food museum be without some American Spam? Another American submission, Jello salad from the 1960s. And this might be the most disgusting of all. This is Kazumarzu from uh, Sardinia. And I don't know if you can see that right there. That is a little, yeah, that's an actual maggot in there. This is the infamous maggot cheese from Sardinia. Just absolutely repulsive. You couldn't pay me enough money to even sniff that. Never mind. Eat it. Ugh. smell of this epoise from France. It is soft cow's milk cheese. Not bad, not bad. I've smelled far more disgusting, that's for sure. And here's the first submission from my ancestral home in Poland. Look at that, it's like sauerkraut, but sauerkraut juice. That actually sounds pretty delicious. A little fruit bat soup. Yikes. A little bull penis, anyone? That guy is definitely a grower and a shower. So I'm about to smell one of the most, apparently one of the most disgusting smelling foods in the world. It is called surstroming, otherwise known as fermented herring from the Baltic Sea. as strong as I expected it would be, but 
pretty gross nonetheless. And some dog meat from China. Look at this little guy. How could you possibly eat this guy? Look at him. More submissions from China. Century eggs. Goddamn, the color of those eggs are absolutely repulsive. Boiled duck egg from the Philippines. Balut. A little mouse wine. Look at the little mice in there. Ugh. And here's a little bar. You can try some, some food. Silkworm, Swedish caviar. Durian fruit, no thank you. Century egg, especially no thank you. That looks absolutely disgusting there. A little buffalo worm. Surprisingly not bad. Sure. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna try a cricket here. Okay. Tastes like hard bread almost. Crispy. It's not so bad. No, it's fine. Yeah. Well, I was a bit of a wuss. I only tried two things on this list out of about uh, about 15 things, but I did try the crickets and the buffalo worm, which uh, they neither were too bad actually. I could actually consider having them as snacks in the future, but who knows? That is it for me from the Disgusting Foods Museum here in Malmo, Sweden. I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe you puked, maybe you cried, maybe you laughed. For now, it is the Obscurest Tourist saying so long. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, stay beautiful, and stay hungry until our next adventure. See you later.